everyone! So I wanted to do something a little bit of different today and it could end up like a total fail but I said let's just try it and I hope it will end up good. So today I'm going to teach you how to do this hairstyle and if you know me you know that I'm not spending any time on my hair. I mean it's too long and I just put it in a ponytail or braid it to one braid and just leave it. So when I had a special occasion and I want to do something with my hair I was like what can I do that won't take a lot of time and I will be able to do it. I just braid my hair for a couple of braids and just pin it up and this is what came out and I think it's really beautiful and really easy and if I can do it you can totally do it. So I'm just going to teach you how to do it and all you're going to need is a hairbrush, some hair elastic and a couple of bobby pins. So let's just start. For start just brush your hair and make sure that you don't have any knots in it. Just leave it you know really silky and really nice so you can braid it easily. And I use my tangle teaser which I love, it makes my life so much easier. After you finish brushing your hair, split your hair for four parts. The part in front of your ear and the part behind of your ear. And each of those parts split to two. And you're going to start braiding each part. Now I started with the parts behind my ears and I just braid them normally as you can see now and my hair is really long so I don't know how much of it you can see but I braid it until the end and try to braid as much as you can so you won't left with a long hair that you need to hide then braid the other one just the same Now when you come to braid the front parts, just the first couple of inches braid them facing backwards so it won't jump in a weird way when we try to pull them into the back of our heads. So just take the hair and braid it facing to the back of your head if it makes any sense. And at start it will feel really uncomfortable and really annoying but you just need to reach to your ear and then you can braid it normally and do the same with the other side as well. When you're finally done braiding, it feels so amazing because at least my hair is really long and it's a lot of work. Just I'll turn around and show you what you need to pin. Now I did it without any mirror because you can't really see the back of your head but you just need to feel where you want your braids to go. So I started with one of the back ones and just well try to place it in this zigzag snaky shape and just pin it along all the time and when you finish just leave the end hanging because we're going to hide it with the other braid and we're going to do a similar shape just where you don't have hair you want to complete it so it look like a kind of a hurricane or something so you're just doing the other braid and keep pinning it along and you'll see well you won't see but you will feel that it started to fill up and that your hair is getting some shape and don't be afraid to pin it over another braid because it will look totally fine it will give you the hairstyle a little bit of volume so if you don't want this volume don't pin above another braid then we're going to take our front braids and pull them back and look how it's look from the front if you're happy with it so you can pin it and then start pinning. I did a circular shape 
because I thought it would look like a nice frame to the back braids and then do the, the same thing with the other braid and of course spin it along if you want you can use hairspray now and I didn't use because I don't like it and actually if you use as much pins as I do you don't have hairspray it will hold I promise you and that's it I think it's really easy and really quick and I think I actually really like it and I will totally do it more often if I want my hair out of my face and if you do create this hairstyle please send me pictures on Twitter or on Instagram I really really love to see your pictures and I'm talking like a madman so I'll stop now and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I do a new video every Sunday I love you so much and I'll see you next week bye